to live and speak with confidence. Let's make a fun paper craft to remind us to live boldly too. I'm Xavier. And I'm Hosea. Let's get started. You will need sticky tape, glue, scissors, and something to colour in with. The worksheet that you can find in the link in the description. Colour in the image of the megaphone Cut around the outside, including the tag. Put glue on the tab and carefully curve the megaphone 
and glue it into place. With the Holy Spirit's power, Peter spoke boldly to a very large crowd about the good news of Jesus. Even though it was a difficult message, Peter's boldness led 3,000 of those people to accept Jesus as Savior and be baptized. Oh, it's a telescope. Be bold in the Holy Spirit just like Peter was. Speak boldly. Peter spoke and lived boldly for Jesus. Acts 2. Hi Hosea, I have a louder voice than you. No you don't, mine's louder than yours. No it's not. Mine is. No, mine is. God's story. Peter preaches. So remember how part of God's story is about a guy named Peter who followed Jesus even though he messed up sometimes? Well, it goes like this. After Jesus died to rescue us, he came back to life. Forty days later, he rose into the sky, right up to heaven. Right before he left, he told his disciples, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give you power. Then you will tell everyone about me in Jerusalem in all Judea, in Samaria, and everywhere in the world. After that, Peter and the others weren't sure what to do, so they waited together in Jerusalem. While they waited, a sound like wind came from heaven. They saw flames that looked like tongues land on their heads. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Other people who followed Jesus were waiting in Jerusalem too, and when they heard the sound, they all crowded together even though they spoke lots of different languages and couldn't talk to each other. But the Holy Spirit gave Peter and the disciples power. Now they could show people how to follow Jesus. See, the Holy Spirit helps us do things we can't do by ourselves. That day, the disciples spoke, and everybody understood them. That's like if someone said something in Latin or Swahili, and we understood it. Seems impossible, but that's what happened. So Peter stood up and told everybody how the Holy Spirit had come and that we can all follow Jesus. He said, turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. By the way, that means that when we believe in Jesus, we get the gift of the Holy Spirit too. Anyway, Peter told huge crowds of people about Jesus that day and more than 3,000 people chose to follow him. Jesus had given Peter a job, and with the help of the Holy Spirit, Peter would do that job for the rest of his life. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus died. He came back to life. He rose up to heaven. His followers had a job. They waited for the Holy Spirit. The Spirit came. Peter spoke. Everyone understood. People believed in Jesus. They got the Holy Spirit too. And that's a part of God's story.